Okay, so first of all, this method involves making lots of charts and then stacking them all on top of each other. So I'll start by making a copy of this chart and then I will change the color of the lines in this chart to make them all lighter. Then I'll zoom out and I'll make more copies of this chart. And as I have four lines, I need to make four copies of this chart. Then in each of these charts, I'm going to change the color of one of the lines back to the brighter color. Then you'll see in this chart here that the blue line is going over the top of the yellow line. So in order to fix this, I'm going to right click and select data and then move the summer series to the bottom of the list. And now this series will be plotted over the top of the other series. So the yellow line will be on the top. Then I have the same problem with this chart here with the blue line going over the top of the orange line. So I will fix this in the same way by moving the autumn series to the bottom of the list so that the orange line is plotted over the top of all of the other lines. However, this creates a new problem because now the legends are in different orders. So in order to fix this, I will make another copy of this chart here, which I will use just for the legend and then I'll delete the legend in all of the other charts. And now that I have made all of the charts that I want, I will select one of them and then press Control A for select all, and then Control C to copy, and then I'll open up PowerPoint and Control V to paste, and then zoom out to see all of the charts and then go to Arrange and open up the Selection pane. And then I'll rename all of these charts to names that are more useful. Then I need to reorder the charts in the Selection pane so that they are in the reverse order of the order that I want them to appear. So the chart that I want to appear first needs to be at the bottom, and then the chart that I want to appear last needs to be at the top. Then I'll press Control A to select all of the charts and go to Arrange and Align and Align Center. Then I'll go to Arrange again and Align and Align Middle. And now all of the charts are stacked on top of each other. I'll zoom back in. Now at the moment, the legend is on the bottom and it is being hidden by all of the other charts. So in order to fix this, I need to take the legend chart and then use the downwards arrow on the keyboard to move this down slightly so I can see the legend at the bottom. Now the legend chart is a slightly different shape to all of the other charts. But this doesn't really matter as the legend chart will always be hidden by the other charts on top of it. I'll select show all and then click and drag to select all of these and go to animations and give them all a wipe animation. Then go to effect options and change the direction to from left. Then I'll open up the animation pane and make some changes to this. So I want all of these to start on click and then I don't want an animation for the legend or the first chart. So I'll just delete those as I want those charts to just be there when I move on to this slide. Then for all of the other animations, I will increase the duration to one second. And now we can open up the slideshow and see what this looks like. So we start off with all of the pale lines and then the first click makes the green line brighter and we can talk about what the green line shows and why it is important. 
then the next click highlights the yellow line, and we can talk about what the yellow line means. And then the next click highlights the orange line, and the next click highlights the blue line. And then finally, we end up with all of the lines together, and we can talk about how they compare to each other. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to animate charts in PowerPoint, and that is everything.